so in this video i'm gonna be walking through how to install what place in localhost xamp server in your windows computer just to follow these easy and step-by-step -step guide to learn how to install WordPress. First of all, you have to install XAMPP server in your computer. To get XAMPP installer, go to your browser and search for XAMPP download and open this link download XAMPP and all you have to need to download XAMPP according to your computer requirements from here. And once you successfully downloaded XAMPP, install the XAMPP in your computer. I've already uploaded a video about how to install and set up XAMPP in your computer. You can watch that video to learn. Okay, once you've successfully installed XAMPP, now you have to download WordPress in your computer. So open this website wordpress.org and then click on Get WordPress. And then you will do quick jump into WordPress download page. Here, just click on download WordPress. Go ahead and download the latest version of WordPress. It may take some time to download the WordPress file. Once you successfully downloaded WordPress, now go to your file explorer and go to download folder. And here you will find the WordPress zip file. Now we have to extract this zip file. Okay, once the zip file extracted, now open the WordPress folder and here you will find this WordPress folder again. So you have to copy this WordPress folder and now go to the drive where you've installed your XAMPP and open XAMPP folder and here open htdocs folder. And inside of htdocs folder, you have to paste your WordPress folder. And now you have to rename this WordPress folder. For example, I want to rename my WordPress site project sample. So here's I just rename the WordPress folder to project sample. Now you have to launch XAMPP control panel. Now you have to start Apache and MySQL. Once started, now you have to open your browser. Once you are in your browser, in the search bar type localhost slash php my admin and then you will directly jump into php my admin dashboard. Here, first of all, we have to create a new database for our WordPress website. So click on new. And in this database name, give you database name. I'm typing project sample and just click on create. And here, as you can see, my database created. Now, once the database created, now we have to create a user account under the database. So in this Lipton menu, click on your database and go to privileges. And here click on add user account username write your username and host name select any host and to use a custom password just select no password and in this box write a password for your user account and retype the password and now just uh, here you have to enable all permissions for the user and just click on go and here you can see I've successfully created a user under this database. Now we have to install our WordPress. So open a new tab and type here localhost slash and write your WordPress folder name or website folder name. So here's my project name is project dash sample. So I'm going to copy this folder name and just pasting it here and hitting enter. And then you will directly jump into WordPress installation page here select a language to install WordPress and click on continue click on let's go and in this database name you have to type the database name in which database you want to install your WordPress so go to your PHP my admin and just copy the database name from here paste it here 
and and in this username box type the username that you've just created in your database section and my password is 1234 and database host localhost and just click on submit and here just click on run the installation and boom now you have to enter here your website title create a password for your WordPress admin panel and write here a username for your WordPress dashboard and write here a password and confirm password and just click on install WordPress oops you have to enter here your email address and it's required now just click on install wordpress and that's it as you can see i have successfully installed my wordpress in my xam server now to log into your wordpress just click on login and you will directly jump into your wordpress login page in here just type your wordpress admin username and password and click on login and then you will directly jump into your WordPress dashboard as you can see. Now you can easily create a brand new WordPress website. Then you will be able to customize your WordPress website from your dashboard. And this is how we can actually install WordPress in our localhost XAMPP server. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.